Mm -hmm. Power dance system, I incorporate relaxation skills and visualisation skills. And the reason why I do that, for example, relaxation cultivates learning. When you learn a new dance skill, you have to create new neural pathways in your brain. Just like learning, for example, riding a bike. For the first time, it's very awkward and clumsy and you're going to make mistakes and you're going to fall off. Same when you learn new dance skills. You make mistakes and it's all clumsy and awkward and it feels very uncomfortable. That's the process of learning. Making mistakes is the process of learning. And it's your body's biofeedback and proprioception that helps you to find the right way of doing it and then the neural pathways in your brain begin to strengthen and then you begin to learn and as you practice more the movement becomes more refined until you've learnt the move and it becomes more natural or automatic until it's hardwired into your brain. These new neural pathways are hardwired into your brain. Scientific research suggests there's about 180 repetitions before a new motor skill becomes automatic. So making mistakes at the beginning is perfectly natural way of learning new physical skill. Dancers often put a lot of pressure on themselves to be able to do the material or new dance skill very quickly and they get very frustrated with themselves when they can't do it straight away. And this inhibits the actual process of learning. You make mistakes and your biofeedback teaches you things about what you need to be doing in order to learn. For example, if you're learning a pirouette, um, at first it's all going to be uncomfortable because you've got to find a point of balance and then you have to propel your body around on that point of balance. And what dancers tend to do is get frustrated very quickly and throw themselves too fast so they throw themselves off the point of balance and it, the attempt gets worse and worse and worse and they don't have fun and relax and actually if you get somebody to relax um, what I try and do for example a relaxation technique is breathe and dancers don't tend to realise how much they hold their breath so I ask them to actually concentrate on their breath when they turn do they take an in-breath when they prepare and then they exhale when they turn and I ask them to actually vocalise and they're so focused on you know, breathing and slightly inhibited making a sound that they actually do a beautiful turn and they realise that if they relax and have fun with what they're doing they can actually achieve their goal and learn the skill so focusing on something else like relaxing and breathing and or giving a visualisation into that actually enables and cultivates your ability to learn. Relaxation can also reduce the level of stress so if you're aiming to performance or rehearsals and they become stressful, doing some relaxation can refocus the company of dancers. So for example there's something called PMR progressive muscular relaxation. The group are getting intense and they're getting frustrated and the rehearsals are not going well or they're getting wound up because it's very close to a performance. I ask them to actually lie down on the dance studio floor and do PMR which is relaxing muscle groups individually. Also focusing on your breathing and it actually does just release that excessive tension they've got in their bodies and it can actually refocus them straight into the next rehearsal or performance. Relaxation also permits creativity and what that means is when you're in a relaxed state like walking in nature or lying down on the beach or just drifting off to sleep is when you get your most creative ideas and this is known as being in the flow or being in the zone and it just allows you to permit you to that creativity so if you're doing improvisation or you're trying to create a dance Finding a way to relax, or PMR or breathing techniques, actually allows people to engage in that creative process and find their own zone to be creative and let their ideas flow.